how to easily make a flying, turning, and landable mini sky base in LEGO Fortnite. Schematics showing from a dude named Jeremy, and I made it in survival as well. Okay, it works. Start off with a dynamic foundation on a raised platform. You need the raised platform to look underneath it and place thrusters. Then use wood foundation 4x4s and place them one back from the starting black outskirts. And then follow this pattern. It's important for later on. And once you're done doing this, you add a thruster slightly raised in the middle back of it. And an activation switch for that thruster, the front. Now for the railings, you can use a smaller railing or a slightly bigger but the 1x4x3, I have access to it, so I figured it's easy to get. And you don't want to have the front one be on the actual foundation, just in front of it and flush at the front. And starting from the right side is easier. For the sides, though, it can be on it, and you're doing two back. Now I'm going to add the railings we'll be breaking later on. The longer, the better. And railings makes it really easy because you know when you're on or you know when you're going to be dropping the block flushly because it indicates it with red. But I've practiced it so many times, I don't need to do that. You place it at the very edge, where it's a one block connection. Now we're going to be adding a top floor. It's going to be an 8 by 4 by one to both of these. I would use wood, but I don't have wood on my main account or my survival playthrough yet, for some reason. Got to do more villages. So place them flush like that, then add your switches and your thrusters to both sides. I'll be showcasing how to do it, because you can mess this up. I place it to where it's actually connected to the top panel on both sides as well. If you mess this up, it will cost a lot of money or a lot of uh, materials. We drop them in place, and then we're adding a castle thin floor, one sliver above the back thruster, and then two notches to the left and right in the middle right here. Adding two of these actually. And in a perfect world, we could add this tatami floor. But I don't have it on my main playthrough, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna expect you guys to have it either. Instead, we're adding eight by four by one castle floor in the middle, all the way forward, and we're adding two more on each side, followed by a thin floor of eight by two by one variety, and boom, it's the tatami floor at home. Now this part's a little tough to explain, but I'll do my best. Take small thrusters and place them at the very edge, which is right here for me. You go inward five and then up five. You place it, and then you go up four, place it, you go left four, place it, and you go down four. And that is a square pattern on the bottom directly in the center. Speaking of center, the center of content creation is the viewer. So leaving a like, a comment, and maybe sharing the videos helps me out a ton. Also, thanks for watching. On with the video. Now, if you don't want to add chests, place the back balloons at the very, on the actual foundation in the very back. And it flies forward. Because weight is a big deal with this, by the way. And this is cool. It's nice. It lands. It won't break those to the bottom either. I think you can break stuff somehow, some way, but I've ran a lot of things. Nothing broke. I landed all kinds of places. Nothing broke. I pushed it. It was fine. But if you want to add chests like me, you break the back balloons and you add them back to the actual raised like little platform. You add thrusters raised like the forward one is to the very back. And then you add chests. In this case, I'm using a large chest. The chest size matters. Okay. If you use the, the bigger chest in this one, it weighs a lot more. Not a lot more, actually, but it'll, it'll weigh down more than you may think. But in this exact pattern, it flies forward just fine, and it has a bit more oomph. And it can transport stuff. So hopefully that was good. If not, let me know. If I messed up a little bit, if I talked too fast, didn't explain stuff that well, let me know. Feedback's appreciated. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace.